Justin with Big R Fly Shop in Ponderay, Idaho, and this week we're tying a black egg-sucking leech. The materials that we're going to use in this fly are Gamagatsu T10-6H tapered salmon hook, black bunny strip, black saddle hackle, .025 lead wire, 20 pound Maxima Ultra Green, UV black ice dub, and UV orange ice dub. First step on this fly is we're going to take lead wire, 0.025, and we're going to wrap the shank of the hook. I want this fly to be nice and heavy. When you trim your lead wire, make sure you use the back of your scissors so you don't dull up your cutting side of the scissor. We're going to use UTC 140 fluorescent pink thread. And I'm going to build a thread base over the lead so that my thread can't slip down in between the lead wraps on future steps. So for that, just bring your thread back and forth across the lead at a pretty extreme angle. And that'll get th the lead all coated. Once we've got that thread base built, we're going to tie in a strand of 20 pound Maxima to the top of the hook. Maxima is going to have its own bend to it when it comes off of the spool and you want that bend to be pointing up when you tie it in. Secure this down really well because you don't want this to pull out on you. And go ahead and trim the tag. My next step, I'm going to tie in black saddle hackle. Select a fairly long fiber feather from your cape. Strip off the fluff on the bottom of the feather. And to prepare this to tie in, we're just going to stroke down the feather and tie it in by the tip. Now I'm going to put in a dubbing loop. And in the dubbing loop we're going to use UV black ice dub. Go fairly sparse on the dubbing because we don't need a lot to fill in the body. The lead wraps already fill the body pretty well. Wrap the dubbing up the body to the point where your lead stopped. And then go ahead and rib it with your thread to help make the fly a little more durable. Tie off your dubbing loop. that out and then go ahead and wrap your hackle palmered up the body. If you're going to fish this fly in slow water use a version without this hackle and if you're fishing it in fast water or in a lake with a fast retrieve use the version with the hackle in it because it's going to move a little bit more water. For my next step, I'm just going to run some beads down onto this Maxima. I'm using black tungsten beads. You want a nice heavy bead because it's going to make the fly ride hook point up. If you're tying this fly in a different color pattern, you can use different color beads to match the fly's body. Pull those forward and then tie in your Maxima at the front of the hook. Trim your tag end. And tie that in really securely. Again, I don't want that 
monofilament to pull out if the beads get caught between a rock. Now I'm going to put in a couple half hitches so that I can take the vise or the hook out of the vise. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to take a zonker black strip and I'm going to pierce it right through the center and I'll put my hook back into the vise. Put my tying thread back on. I'm going to spin my hook over. and tie in the rabbit strip. Now I'm going to take black flashaboo and tie in a clump on each side of the fly just to give it a little bit of shine in the water. I'm using maybe 10 strands per side. So I'm going to trim off the tag ends. The last step is to take UV orange ice stub and just spin it onto your thread. And build up a nice orange head at the front of the fly. And then I'm going to take just a small amount of UV pearl ice stub and tie it into the bottom of the fly. Trim the excess. Whip finish or half hitch. And then if your flash of boo is a little bit too long, just go ahead and trim it so that it's the same length as the tail. Complete.